Yo, 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 what is up? It is YB. Welcome back to another episode of Office Hours. Look, you playing small is not going to bless anybody. Mm. Ah, let me sit in that one. You playing small will not bless anybody. Now, granted, I know y'all say, well, YB, you told me to just get started. You told me to don't worry about too much. No, 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 no. I said playing small. Write down the big vision, but get started. Write down the big vision, make it plain, but get started. You playing small will not bless anybody. When you trust God to do difficult things, when you trust God to move the mountain, when you trust God to bring clarity to the thing that's been confusing, and it requires you to go and ask other people, it requires you to go and meet with mentors, it requires you, okay, now I got to start hiring people. I don't have the biggest budget, but I have a budget. When you go and do big things, and you have to start small. Then you start blessing other people because the mission easily surpasses you. The mission and the vision immediately surpasses you. This is so big that I got to go get other people. This is so big I got to serve other people. This is so big I got to call somebody for help. That is what I mean. You playing small will not bless anybody. The times are passing where the people of God are saying, I'm going to just do this to get by. I'm just, you know, trying to make it. If God is operating in here, if he's planting seeds here, if God is operating here and he's planting seeds here or the heart, you know what side it is. If God is operating here and he's planting seeds here and he's saying, open your mouth, I want you to speak with boldness. I want you to speak with purpose. I want you to speak with conviction. If God is operating in you. Start small, but work your way towards the big things that God has placed in your mind. Work your way towards the big things God has placed in your thoughts. Work, work your way towards the big things God has placed in your imagination. You playing small will not bless anybody. Now, granted, I want to leave you with this. As the leader, it's going to be taxing. As the leader, you're going to have to be able to get up and say, OK, God, I'm putting one foot in front of the other. But he's not calling us to perfection. He's not calling us to circumstances. He's calling us to faithfulness. You got this. Keep going.